and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Webinar is conducted for interns of Harvey's Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital in association with Swara Homeo Gurukul. I welcome everyone on behalf of our Honorable Chairman, um, Dr. K. V. Kupusami Aya, RVS Group of Institution, and Dr. Shekhar Agungi, sir, founder of Swara Homeo Gurukul. And I welcome Dr. And I welcome and thank Dr. Kribakshini for being in contact, touch with us, and thank Dr. Um, Samaran sir uh, for, for making this webinar possible. And I also thank our respected principal, Professor Dr. Purchalvan sir, Medical Superintendent, Professor Dr. Prasanna Devi ma'am, and Deputy Medical Superintendent, Professor Dr. Kartigayan sir. A few words about Swara Homeo Gurukul. In the dream and vision of one man, Dr. Shekhar Algungi had humble beginnings, a handful of eager learnings, and an enthusiastic teacher imparting in a village under a tree. The concept remains, but the number of participants and grown into a huge family with members from all over the country. The science and art of uh, homeopathy at its best is taught here in an eco-friendly and traditional environment. The Gurukul's workings are cheap in tradition, preserving the values of being eco-friendly and inclusive. Natural walks, yoga, meditation, and simple but wholesome food services in traditional Bata values. The day begins at dawn, filled with en enriched learning, and other stimulating activities, and end in evening with relaxing interactions, drawing the participants together into a close kin unit. Today's topic is Hanakardeshya family by Dr. Banu Chandar Sir. Few words about speakers. Dr. Banu Chandar Sir, BHMS MD, graduated BHMS from Dave's Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital, Secondrabad, and MD from Guru Mishri's Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital, Selcon. Consultant homeopathic physician in, pa in the past three years at Sahara's Homeopathic Homeo Clinic and Stores, Hyderabad. He is known for his compassion and passion towards the system of practice. He completed Gurukul, completed Gurukul teaching training course, a special teaching course for next line teaching at Swara Homeo Gurukul. I welcome you, sir. Let's be begin the session. Thank you for your introduction. So good evening to one and all. So I thank RBS Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital and Chairman Vijay Sri, Dr. K. V. Kupuswami Sir, Principal Professor Dr. P. Porchelvan Sir, Medical Superintendent Professor Dr. N. Prasanna Devi Madam, Deputy Medical Superintendent Professor Dr. R. R. Karthikeyan Sir, and Swara Homeo Gurkul for giving me this opportunity. So let us start our session. So my topic is on Anakadesi family from plant kingdom. So before going directly into the Anakadesi family, I want to ask one question. Did any time you thought why we are studying a single remedy in many ways, in many aspects, like some are studying in Materia Medica way, using Allens, Boric, Herring, Kent, Materia Medica, etc. Some are studying the same remedy in family-wise, family-wise oriented way. Some are studying kingdom-wise. Some are studying rubric-wise. So why they are studying? It is because every remedy has to be understood holistically. Holistically meaning, 
So in aphorism three, Hanuman says that about knowledge of medicine, what he says, if he clearly pursues what is curative in medicine, that is to say in each individual medicine, that he is saying here is the physician has to clearly pursue what is curative in medicine. That is what is the indication. So to study that curative thing in that medicine, we are approaching different ways to study or to understand the same remedy. So it is the importance of aphorism three. So from now onwards, if you study a remedy in whatever way, either materia medica, family wise or the rubric wise, you understand what is a curative thing in that. It is a symptoms which is important. What we say core core nature of that medicine, the core state of that medicine that we have to understand and understand in each and every individual medicine. So let us go into our topic, Anacardesi family. So generally it is a Rustox family. So Anacardesi family consists of remedies, Anacardium Oriental, Anacardium Occidental, Comocladia dentata, Mangifera indica, Rus glabra, Rus radicans, Rus toxicodendron, Rus venenata, Rus aromatica. These are the remedies from this family. So, Anacardesi family, when we study this remedy from sensation point of view, we see the sensations of this family is caught, stiff, tight. Tension, stuck, cramps, pressing type of sensation, not allowed to move, restricted. These are the sensation which we see. The patient feel the situation or uh, perceive the situation as a stiff, stuck, caught. So it is his sensation. So opposite with that sensation, he, he do some actions, some reactions. They are passive or the active reactions. So passive reaction of this family is paralyzed, immobile. This joint pain feels like stiff, making me not able to move. This is a paralytic state, immobile state, which patient says us. So active reaction is what? Want to move. Motion ameliorates. Aggravation from sitting. Sedentary aggravates. So this want to move is the active reaction of this family. What we see prominently in Rustox. So aggravation in the house. So house also makes him aggravates. Because it is also house is what? It is a resting place. So if you stay long time, if we, from, uh, if we stay long time, he feels stiff feeling, stuck feeling caught feeling. So he want to move. So pain on beginning to move. Restlessness. These are the reactions with sensations. And compensation is he wants always on move. So because uh, for this only Rustox have continuous motion, amelioration. So always he is busy mentally, physically, restlessness. So this is a prominent symptom because the compensation is want to move, want to move. So key words used by this family is stiff, stuck, tension, band, blocked, caught, tight and cramp, crampy like feeling, plugged like sensations, restricted feelings. Immobile, rigid feeling, they are limited, trapped, motion ameliorates, want to move, movement, they seek for movement, not able to move, paralyzed, free, not free. These are the key words used by the, used by the patients. So when we come to general future of Anacardesi family, there is a constant struggle with themselves and the environment. So whenever we see 
plant kingdom so there is a always the plant kingdom people try to adjust with the environment like a plant so in this it is very prominent there is a constant struggle in this family because of this thing we see strong modalities in this family so like the seed out of the fruit exposed as in anacardium cashew nut or a very loose connection with fruit as it ripes in mango so majorly it is indicated in skin because uh, the poison from this anacardaceae family is very violent easily reactive so it is easily shown in skin skin problems the so skin issues like tormenting burning itching swelling this burning and itching is a very prominent symptom if you want to prescribe uh, remedy from this uh, family you have to think that whether it is having itching or not because remedies from this family have tremendous itching swelling and redness redness also very prominent leading to vesication and ulceration erysipelas herpetic malignant or leprosy like skin affections is a hallmark mainly the face eyes genitals are affected so one more characteristic is worst from rust worst from rust rust and better because this rust makes them stuck feeling stiff feeling stagnant feeling tight feeling so this makes them to move that movement makes them free mentally and physically what we see in uh, rust talks when they are sitting the complaint aggravates they want to move so mentally and physically also this modality is seen so whenever we want to prescribe a rust talks first of all we think of what modalities if there is a strong modality of first movement aggravation then only we think of rustox otherwise we won't thinking of the rustox because of that much importance is given to modalities in this families so next is worst night the symptoms in this family is aggravated in the night or the evening or approaching the night the symptoms are aggravated because the physio physiologically clerk says that the poisonous action of this rust is lost if it is exposed to sunlight because of this only the things which are collected for the preparation they are collected uh, during evening time because their poisonous nature is present in proving also all active symptoms are produced at or after midnight see how much importance is given to night aggravation of the symptoms and one more characteristic is most often them are better in open air so night aggravation or in dampy weather climate dampy weather or the damp cellars this makes them or the house makes them aggravate because this is a stagnant place where they don't like they feel like stuck tight feeling so they want open air open air amelioration that's why in rustox their anxiety in rustox there is a anxiety is present but this anxiety increases when evening approaches when the night approaches because they may it makes them they have to rest at the house that is making them problematic that is making them stuck feeling tight feeling stiff feeling mentally stuck and physically stiff feeling so because of that they feel anxious when night approaches so they want to move from bed or the move from house they want to be better in open air and one more thing is symptom changes 
so symptom changes we have to think symptoms are changing whether they are changing alternatively or it is changing from one part to other or what happening symptom change in family in anacardiaceae family the symptom changes in direction they changes the direction from left to right or right to left about downwards or from down to above in this way the symptoms are changing one more th one more thing is they prominently affect nerves spinal cord muscles joints and bones majorly the fibrous tissue is affected in this in this family like ligaments tendons nerves these all are affected inflammation in the joints there is a paresis of the muscles this is very important so these have affections for children more than adults and for the old neurasthenic people so this is very important we have to observe the rustox are the remedies rust radicans these are the remedies which are indicated in the joint pains rheumatism rheumatic problems which are generally seen in old ages and the rust veneta rust tox anacardium these are the remedies which are indicated in the skin complaints majorly in the children's and one more remedy in this family is rust aromatica this is a beautiful remedy which is indicated for nocturnal aneurysis so generally when we see nocturnal aneurysis we see nocturnal aneurysis in children and the old people so in this way it is very much very important to understand in which age group these are indicated children and old age group people are mostly helpful with this remedies generally there is a history of abuse in childhood found in clinical practices so mentally when we see there is a fear superstitious fear fear is very prominently seen anxiety is also anxiety regarding one's own health extreme restless this anxiety makes them driving from one place to another place to place or out of bed at night or the sadness desire to die or drown melancholy in rust talks these are the mental symptoms so we have seen the general features now see the two main fundamental issues are extremely lack of confidence in self as expressed by some of these rubrics and descriptions when we think of lack of self self confidence we prescribe silesia calcarea kalis this type of remedies if you now think of lack of self confidence in patient then think of this family also so there is a rubrics which covers this explanation is confidence want of self delusion succeed that he cannot delusion committed a crime delusion home away from familiar places seems strange so whenever the delusion you get you have you try to explore that delusion then you can understand which family they are belonging to fear of examination with brain or nervous exhaustion from over study so some of the remedies from this family is indicated in examination funk delusion he is double or possessed of two wills therefore they seems to be lacking the very clear identity of themselves so there is a no clear identity so one more feature is strong fear of being injured by surroundings extremely threat as depicted in the following so there is a strong fear of being injured by the surroundings that means what we studied there is a constant struggle between themselves and the environment the same thing this we think in this way we try to understand in this way there is a fear of being injured by surroundings extremely threat 
that surroundings makes them threat makes them injured they perceived as a injured so this is the mind mentality which this remedy serve see the delusion rubrics also delusion poisoned about to be, to be delusion perceived it is a delusion how much mentally they are affected delusion watched by the surroundings delusion murdered he will be suspiciousness which we see prominently in the anacardesi anacardium oriental delusion someone with him in bed there is dreams of fire murder and misfortune fear of people lack of confidence in self and others worst at night worst at rest better out of home better motion in open air so these are the two important features which we have to think when we are studying this remedies so let us until now we have seen the general features of the anacardesi family now let us see individual remedies what are their symptom how they are useful in day to day practice let us see so first remedy is rust toxicodendron so rust toxicodendron it comes from with the background of typhoid miasm typhoid is a combination of acute and the sora acute and sora acute means the situations are sudden which are panicky sora means it is a helpful sora is a hope sora is nothing but the hope so here the person perceives as a situation as a acute and he tries to come out of that situation because the sora is present in this so this makes the prominent symptom first moment aggravation in rustox patient come with the knee joint pain he tries to there is a first moment aggravation even though it is a aggravation even though pain is there why he tries because of this typhoid miasm with the background of typhoid miasm the pain is very severe but he tries to come out he tries because of that sore so there is a prominent because of this that symptom is very prominent intensified first moment aggravation and the continuous motion just to you have to try you will come out of that situation so later it is a better feeling so stuck and wants to move so rust was generally prescribed for the physical symptoms mostly for the rheumatic complaints why there is a no mental symptoms or should be prescribed for the rheumatic complaints only no there will be a mental symptoms also see some of the rubrics which it covers anguish drives from place to place anxiety bed in driving out of delusion pursued by enemies thought he was dreams business of difficulties in escape attempts to run away fear death of fear murdered of being see how much anxious is the restless did you observe that when you prescribed the rustox this mental symptoms from now onwards you observe mental symptom that ang- anxiety has to be there if you want to prescribe rustox the strong modalities fear of poison of being so there is a constant anxiety as if something going to happen because that they see the situation either office area or at home or in a business or anywhere they see a the situation as a fearful because sudden panicky is like attacking so he tries to come out that situation with the hope so he is having the constant anxiety because of this only there is a constant anxiety 
which is prominently seen as a restlessness mentally and physically his talk or his walk or his behavior restlessness we can easily see in rustak's patient anxiety in a house then he wants to move out or walk in open air that staying at home also makes him stagnant makes him stuck makes him hot feeling so he want to move out of the home as the night approaches anxiety increases there is a mind symptoms like despondency mental prostration wants to die but no courage to commit suicide these suicidal thoughts are there but he doesn't have that much courage rather than he is having the hope because of sora he is having the hope of coming out of that situation restlessness anxious nervous extreme in acute and chronic complaints are seen so whenever you are prescribing a rustox you have to see the concomitant symptom like rest, restlessness or the anxiety anxiety and restlessness we have to see whenever you want to prescribe the rustox so rustox is generally prescribed in rheumatic conditions the fibrous tissues are affected like ligaments this is what hanuman wants to say in third aphorism what is the curative in that medicine the curative in rustox is it only acts on fibrous tissues like ligaments if the joint com- uh, patient comes with a joint pain if you prescribe rustox it may work or it may not work if the joint complaint is because of ligament injury or tendons are injured then it definitely works it is a curative indication so ligaments tendons aponeurosis these are all things are affected stiff limb bruised feeling is there in muscles and tendons and ligaments aching and bruised pains are seen over exertion and the strain after over exertion we can press restocks so aggravation from first moment damp weather and amelioration by continuous motion in skin complaints so ercipila pilatus carbuncles vascular eruptions in these conditions we prescribe rustox generally in rustox there is a burning itching tingling sensation with red eruptions it is a prominent feature in skin complaints the same thing we see in epis also but in epis along with the burning there is a stinging type of pains are present difference is there is a stinging type of pain here is itching is present red eruptions are common one more thing in rustox symptoms go from left to right very in epis from right to left so this is about skin complaint very sensitive to touch so there is a inflammation of throat throat sensation like plug like sensation there is a constriction in the throat because the mucus membrane also affected it acts on the mucus membranes also aggravated when swallowing paralytic weakness of the limbs and also bladder is seen especially in the rheumatic patient troubles comes from over exertion and exposure to wet damp weather as from lying on the damp ground later case the trouble probably finds its origin in rheumatic inflammation of the meninges of the cord so we also think about this inflammation of the spinal cord also whenever the lower limbs are affected patient is saying that the difficulty in walking or this thing we have to think of this inflammation of meninges of the cord also so it is about the rustox now let us see about the anacardium orientale so it comes with the background of cancer miasm there is a feeling cancer miasm is a control we see prominent like what we see in the rustox like 
Till now, we have understood the stocks. Let us see another remedy from the Anacardiaceae family, Anacardium oriental. So it comes with the background of cancer miasm. So cancer miasm is what? It is a control. Like what we see in Rustox, there is a situation is acute with the understanding of Sora, with the hope it tries to come out of that situation. But this cancer miasm want to control always the situation. So anacardium oriental, there is a control one side and the fear is one side. With the combination of control and the fear, fear because of lack of self-confidence. They are good, obedient, very orderly, fastidious. He starts doing work by controlling his emotions. So by controlling his emotion, he starts doing his all work. He cannot take decision properly when he cannot because of for certain time he can do everything but at, at time he cannot take the decision properly because of lack of self-confidence and irresolute. There is no firmness in their emotions. So they try to control their emotions. It control persist. The controlled emotion and soul against his will. So every situation they tries to control. When that control is lost, then starts reacting with cruelty, malaise, want of moral feeling, and antisocial behaviors. So because so many because of this, so many uh, negative symptoms like so many. Violent symptoms we see in the anacardiasi, anacardium oriental. So patient is outside overconfidence, hard, prayer, but inside lack of self-confidence with cancer myism. There is a two wills, what we see. Rubrics are will contradiction of two wills feels as if he had delusion of being doubled. When his control lost, he feels these all the uh, symptoms. Moral feeling want of. Kill desire to. Antagonism with self. Anger, irresistibility, violent. Takes everything in bad part. part. Aversion, society to. Irresistible desire to curse or the swear. In Allen's keynote. So this is when his control is lost when his symptoms comes like this. So there is a two wills, evil one side and angel one side. What we studied in uh, Materia, Materia Medica during UG time. There is one commands and one uh, forbids. His external will is influ influenced easily by the external influences. But his internal will always control his impulses because of this control of internal will they try to do everything when that internal will is unable to control then everything comes out in violent way anacardium oriental paralysis the external will bad effects of overuse of mind mental fatigue overuse of mind with this thought process or during the exam time, examination funk. During examination funk, also this remedy is indicated. Headache after overuse of mind, tearing type of pain, constrictive sensation. See, these sensations of constrictive. There is a band where tied around the head. This type of sensation we see here. So there may be, they may become childish idiotic and timid. This fear can paralysis, paralyze the thinking process when appearing for an exam. Because of fear, they can't able to understand what, what they are studying. 
From there, they start examination funk. Sensation here are pressure and plug-like sensation. Different parts of body, we see this sensation, plug-like sensations in throat, in rectum, in spine, different parts of body. This plug-like sensation feel like stuck, tight feeling. There is a full of trembling and paralytic weakness is seen in this remedy. So in skin, usually there is a eruption seized on the face and also on the other parts of the body with intolerable itching. Spine, back, limbs. Sensation as though a band were tied around the body. There is a band tied around the body. A feeling as a plug were stuck in the spine. This stuck feeling in the spine. So that any motion of the the knee knees feels weak in the spinal affections. There is a bandage with a tightly sensation in the knee. So this band-like sensation, plug-like sensation, this prominent sensations we see in this family remedies. And also in this anacardium oriented. There is a feels as if paralyzed. So gastric components, prominently this uh, anacardium oriental prescribed in gastric complaints. Patient much of time hungry. He feels better while eating, but worst after eating. Constipation, frequent desire for stool, but when attempt to move the bowels is made, the urge passes away. When they try to, uh, when they attempt to move the bowels is made, the urge passes away. Here the complaints of sensation as a plug or some foreign substance in the rectum. Soft stool also expelled with difficulty. So these are the very peculiar symptoms and usually in this type of complaint we think of sulfur, ignitia, mux formica, this type of remedy. But we also think we also has to think about anacardium anacardium oriental. One of the prominent thing because why these symptoms are coming is there is a powerlessness or the inefficiency of rectum is seen in this symptom. There is a powerlessness or the inefficiency of the rectum is seen. Because of this thing, this sensation of plug or some foreign substance in the rectum, they feel. And soft stool also expelled with difficulty. So it is about the anacardium oriental. Let us go for another remedy, Mangifera indica. This comes with the background of psychosis miasm, psychotic miasm. There is a feeling that in situation they feel like stuck and I accept it. I cannot change it. I need to avoid it. Avoid it. This is a psychotic understanding. So Mangifera Indica, when the sensation of anacardesi family is combined with the psychotic miasm, their feeling is, I have to live with this stiffness. It is fixed. I am restricted. I accept it and cannot change it. I need to avoid it. So this is a feeling will be there in Mangifera Indica. So mind symptoms is ailments from anger, easily offend, offended, involuntary sighing, weeps easily, feels bored, worse being alone, wants to remain busy. This may this makes them feel better. Modalities is aggravated by beginning of motion, exertion, change of weather, worse bending forward, ameliorated by in open air, better in open air and continued motion. So clinically it is indicated in varicose veins. Generally remedy for 
पैसिव हेमरेजेस यूट्रेंट किडनी गैस्ट्रिक और पलमनरी एंड इंटेस्टाइनल दिस रेमडी इज इंडिकेटेड पैसिव हेमरेजेस वेर देर इज एटोनिक कंडीशन पूर सर्कुलेशन एंड रिलैक्स मजिल्स वेरिकोज वेन सो वन ऑफ वन ऑफ माई केस आई हैव प्रिस्क्राइब दिस मैंजिफेरा इंडिका वेर द केस come with the sensation and reactions of the anacardesi family all the sensation reactions are present but at that time i am not uh, sure with the miasmatic understanding so then what i did i took the boric materia medica and i studied the remedies from this family all the remedies one by one i found varicose vein indication in mangifera indica only and it is not find in any other remedies of this family and i in the patient is suffering with varicose seal so i given him mangifera indica in mother tincture form it has worked very well so atonic condition poor circulation and relaxed muscles in varicose vein what happens there is a in uh, incompetence of the valves takes place so it is very good remedy for varicose veins there is a pain shifting suddenly or coming and going suddenly there is a desire for mangoes sour food for sweets blood hemorrhage venous blood with dark clots so next remedy is rus radicans this is one of the beautiful remedy it comes with the understanding of malarial miasm acute plus psychosis there is a stuck feeling with attacked intermittently so tincture of fresh leaves gathered at sunset just to before flowering time rus radicans has identical action as a rus tox see most of the time what we do whenever there is a rheumatic complaint patient joint patient patient comes with the joint affection we try to prescribe rustox we miss this rus radicans instead of uh, when rustox is not working then we go for bryonia or other remedies but the same action the same indication is present in the rus radicans which is from the same family so we have to think about when rustox is not working not only rustox when you are studying the families when one remedy from that family is not working then think of other remedies of that family like instead of rustox you think of rust radicans because it is very similar there are many similar indications are present in rust radicans so as we allen noted that its toxic effects are most felt and long huh? lasting this constitutional effects seems incurable without the antisorric so clinically it is indicated in arthritis influenza injuries muscle pains muscular pains paralysis rheumatism and sprains stiffness strains tendonitis typhoid fever attic area so your mind see this is a very much uh, very much similar to the indicator to complaints who complaints who generally we see in, see in the system work people who sit before system and work continuously like software employees generally they come with the complaints of neck stiffness or the back pain or the headache this type very much prominent indications are there for that for uh, that complaints confusion at night on lying down irresolution in projects mistakes in speaking great discouragement and apprehension about the future delusion that she is criticized rheumatism where wandering and rheumatic pains are seen 
pain and stiffness is seen. Traumatic inflammation of the joints is seen. Sprains and the staining is seen. Stiffness, swelling and lameness of the joints is seen. See, this lameness is not seen in rustocks very prominently. But here, lameness is seen. Old injuries that never healed. Stiffness. Cramps in calf muscles. Rigidity of nape, nape, nape of neck. Aggravated first moment and ameliorated walking in open air. So, ailment from straining or straining a single part. Muscle or tendon. Overlifting. Generally, during system work, we use these fingers very much. Or the wrist or the this upper arms. So, if complaints, if patient comes with this complaint, you can think of this rat, rus radicans. Whiplash injuries. Like, if you move the suddenly the neck, if the injury happens suddenly like this, coming and going, if the injury happens, in that case also it is indicated. Dislocated joint. Back. Backache with stiffness in the morning. Weakness in the whole spine. Aching in back and kidney region. Aggravated in night moment. Rigidity of neck, stiff, stiff neck, aggravated by movement. Upper and lower limbs. There is a severe pain in right shoulder shoulder, acromion process and the deltoid. Here, there is a severe pain. Rheumatism lasted for several days. Numbness and feeling of deadness in arms and hands at night. In lower limbs, there is a pain at inside of one knee near patella. So, when whenever there is a pain in the knee, especially at the patella, generally we think of bryonia. Because of that bursitis or that thing. But from now you think of rus radicans also. Which is aggravated by moving the joints. Cramps in the cough. It is well indicated in the skin complaints and intermittent fevers. Skin complaints are burning, itching and pricking type of pain with hard red eruptions. Pascular Vascular eruptions, erciplar, especially in the hot weather. Headache after intellectual labor. Right sided over the right eye. Here, right eye or the right eyebrow, eyebrows. Dull pain, occipital headache. During this, if you see this symptom, you, in, you prescribe rust radicans. Farrington gave rust radicans for. Occipital headache with rheumatic stiffness of nape of neck. So, we have seen rust radicans. Very important remedy. When the rust tox is not working, then you think of rust radicans. Clomoclidia dentata. Next remedy. So, with the understanding of left rust myism. Left out. Stuck and unable to go anywhere. Hopeless situations are seen. Clomoclidia dentata. This has great affinity towards skin, mucous membrane and joints and muscles. <clears throat> rheumatic pains and stitches in back. There is a wandering rheumatic pains. Pains go from place to place, up and down like that. Limbs, sharp pains to right shoulder to scapula, wandering pains, crampy sensation in muscles. So, in this cramps are seen very peculiar. Drawing cramping in the fingers, tongue coated dirty yellow, sensation as if tooth were being drawn out of its socket, pain in teeth better by pressure but aggravated by touch. Modalities, ameliorated in open air, motion, scratching and pressure. Aggravated from touch or rest. So some of the rubrics for this remedy is knee aching, crampy. 
wrist aching cramping legs lame feeling cramp in right above in step better by walking alena also gives many symptoms involved in the stiffness such as elbow stiffness and shoulder stiffness so this is about dendeta no let it rust veneta veneta rust veneta it comes with the background of ringworm miasm there is so sora and psychosis there is a hope and giving giving up stuck and held tight but hopeful of coming out so rus neta is a most active poisonous of rus so, very action general act on the skin skin symptoms more poisonous than the rus tox clerk found rus veneta an excellent remedy for arsenic overdosing arsenical overdosing in arsenical overdosing we find symptoms skin symptoms very prominent in that condition we can give rus veneta rus veneta is a tropical topical remedy in itching and burning chill veins mind there is a great melancholy gloomy and depressed no desire to live back there is a back very stiff very sharp pain under left scapula extending to ribs see how prominently we are seeing skin symptoms and the this uh, joint symptoms muscle symptoms very prominently breast must to be supported it takes when it hangs down see slightest movement also aggravates initially so rus veneta the skin complaint is vesicles erysipelas skin dry red dark red skin is very dark red burning and itching relieved by hot weather whereas in rus radicans there is a aggravated by hot weather but here relieved by hot weather hot water head heavy frontal headache was walking or stooping there is a sensation as if mouth and throat had been scalded sensation in arms as if the bone would break pains wander about upwards and downwards along the periosteum this during the joint pains slightest touch aggravates generally we see in all these remedies because the periosteum is affected so here its pain come and go suddenly chills up runs up back so this is about the rus veneta so next remedy is rus glabra rus glabra comes with the understanding of leprous miasm stuck and he cannot move so its tincture of fresh bark of fruit and tincture of berries are used for preparation clinically it is indicated in aphthis aphthis ulcers in that condition aphthis ulcers mouth ulcers it is indicated very prominently tax well in putrescent conditions with tendency to ulcerations fitted plat flatus nose bleeds and occipital headaches dreams of flying through the air exhaustion and painful fatigue in rus glabra the mind symptoms are they are indifference to the surrounding objects distaste for the society because of that understanding this feeling will be there left out understanding we can see this indifferent nature headache there is a dull heavy headache is seen better by x headache on waking better by exercise in limbs there is a aching and fatigue feeling in the lower limbs can hardly stand modalities are better by movement and worst after sleep 
tongue furrowed white bleeding from mouth after stomatitis so in abscess ulcer condition we can prescribe this in abscess stomatitis or nursing sore mouth we can prescribe this perspiration there is a profuse perspiration arising from debility from weakness sweat profuse during the sleep dreams of prison riots the feeling is if i do not move i will die see how how deep how intensified it is so it is about the rust glabra now let us see about the anacardium occidentalis anacardium occidental this comes with the background of cancer mesism same as the anacardium oriental so it is a kidney shaped tincture of black juice between the outer and inner shell is taken for the preparation clinically it is indicated in blisters corns erysipelas warts ulcers cracked of cracking of skin on soles of feet their mind is difficulty with thinking did not know his surroundings weak memory is seen melancholy hypochondriasis cannot control voluntary muscles paralysis with imbecility imbecility so this is about the anacardium occidental so next remedy is rus aromatica so it is a beautiful remedy which is indicated in nocturnal aneurysis renal and urinary affection especially diabetes aneurysis due due to vesical atony senile incontinence in senile incontinence we can prescribe this incontinence severe pain at beginning or before urination causing great atony in agony in child children constant dribbling constant dribbling of urine diabetes large quantities of urine of low specific gravity generally acid phos and acetic acid are prescribed and this also indicated in that the quantity of urine passed in is very great as in acid phos and acetic acid it is frequently characterized by great incontinence due to probably due to atony of bladder muscle so here bladder is affected because of atony of bladder that incontinence we can see hence it is thought of in senile incontinence which it helps to a great extent so this is given in clerk materia medica very beautifully after this uh, indication many of the physicians tried and they it it gave beautiful results in nocturnal aneurysis generally dosage is in mother tincture they use it in mother tincture form it gave very wonderful results in nocturnal aneurysis so it is about rus aromatica so until now we seen general features of anacardesi family and individual remedies and their indications now dd of anacardesi from plant kingdom what are the other families which depicts the same sensation but they are different so anacardesi and the cruciferae appears to be the same so in cruciferae family the main sensation is that the free flow is obstructed and blocked the images used by this patients are huge stone stones blocks the flow of river so it tries to find some diversion to flow so in cruciferae also there is a obstructed feeling or the block feeling or the stuck feeling they can say but there is a flow this blocked feeling 
doesn't restricting them from movement they can move slowly by diversion but in anacardesi family the sensation is being hot even though people say the block or obstruction when we further explore that blocked or the obstruction then he may say the caught feeling caught sensation so further of explanation or the expression of that word has to be explored to differentiate the both the anacardesi and the crucifere family so in anacardesi there is a sensation is being caught from outside and this is not letting the person move the image used by patient is to explain the explain the same or something is jammed something is restricted and not able to move so this is the difference between crucifere family and the anacardesi family so one more dd is primulaceae family in anacardesi family the feeling of unable to move is from outside as if somebody has caught the person the person has a strength and ability to move but feels caught from outside in primulaceae there is a inability to move which comes from inside anacardesi it from outside but in primulaceae it is from inside within one self it is as if the muscles are lame and paralyzed and therefore unable to move therefore at mental level the remedy anacardium there is a lot of anger and cruelty towards the opposite person when in psychomen there is a self imposed imprisonment so this is the difference between the anacardesi and the primulaceae so this is these are the dds of anacardesi family so now let us see one case case of arthritis a male patient of age 40 years 48 years came to clinic then i asked him tell me sir he said pain in both upper and lower limbs pain in ankle joint since 6 months dragging type of pain i am also having erectations problem aggravated after eating what else i asked what else there is a ankle joint pain is more it's tearing type of pain when i press it i feel better touch also aggravates when i press i feel better but touch it aggravates i don't feel comfortable i tell my wife to press it i walk for 10 minutes and sit if i feel if i feel this tingling sensation dragging type of pain or numbness then i walk for 10 minutes i have difficulty in morning to walk immediately after getting up i asked tell about the difficulty for example when when i get up after dinner i go for a walk for 10 minutes at least in a hall even though i walk 3 kilometers in the evening when i start feeling tingling sensation i am not able to move immediately fast when he start feeling tingling sensation he is not able to move immediately fast i move few steps and then i feel i can increase my pace when i have pain i cannot walk fastly fast immediately immediately fast he can move but immediately not fast slowly because it is paining so then i ask meaning before sitting what pace i have walked after getting up i cannot walk in that pace i have to move for at least 10 to 15 steps come to normal pace i ask to tell about that state there is a lot of burning pain tingling sensation numbness will be there then you have to walk or press it in day time you have you won't feel like this you are fine you can walk in normal pace 
in the evening or night this ankle and hand finger feels numbness numb feeling and irritation then i asked describe numb when i then he said when i sit numbness increases if i cannot move pain increases literally the moment i sleep shock like tearing pain tearing type of pain increases even in bed i start moving then i feel little better so the movement improves the state if there is a no movement it keep becoming worst experience in that it's like nerves dragging nerves nervous i feel like my nerves stuck my feet has stuck so unless i don't give it a pressure or unless i don't move or unless i don't walk it becomes stiff little bit more i ask stiff numb becoming cold and losing its senses there is a no circulation boils appears burning hmm then he said nerve pain tearing pain in different parts by showing rotating his wrist joint he he doing like this when i do it continuously i feel better i improve my sensation so then i asked another uh, complaint i asked him tell about erectations then he said there is a burning heaviness will be there in chest it's like gripping type when air doesn't passes from up it goes from down when air doesn't go then i feel like stuck feeling here he said stuck feeling here i asked tell about stuck and heaviness when gas is not coming out from up or down if it coming from up or it struggling to come out struggle in the chest there is a heaviness gas is trying to come out it is not releasing out trying to come out even though it is releasing little by little still some struggle is there because i know gas is not coming completely describe the struggle it is not free discomfort in that tube it's like gripping heaviness it's not long time it is a short time it is for short time gas come out with loud sound then i feel better when the all the gas comes out he feels better so then i asked after this i asked how is your sleep he said sleep was disturbed due to this joint pain so when i took the repertorial chart there is a extremities heaviness extremities numbness into to extremities pain aching motion amlerates stomach erection aggression eating of then the box end so analysis of the case is patient came with complaints of pain in both upper and lower limbs ankle joint pains erectations in the case there is a strong modalities are present first movement aggravation evening night aggravations are seen and patient always wants to move continuous movement he wants and the sensation like stuck heavy stiffness present joint complaint and and also in the chest complaints and the reaction is want to move is trying to move nets and compensation is continuous movement so he wants always in the mo- moment and he is trying to come out of that situation he is keeping some effort to 
come out of that situation, whether it is a chest complaint or it is a joint complaint. The remedy is thus toxicodendron, given potency 200. After one month, patient is feeling better. His ankle joint pain is decreased by 80%. Erectations are decreased. Now patient able to have a sound sleep. So this is about the analysis. So this is about the case. So now let us rewind what we have studied. So generally we have general understanding, general features of anacardesi family we have understood and we have studied, we studied about the individual remedies of the anacardesi family, Rustox, Anacardium Oriental, Anacardium Occidental, Rus Glabra, Rus Venenata, Rus Radicans, how Rustox and Rus Radicans are similar in their indication, what is the difference between both, we have understood. And what is the uh, indication of Rus Aromata, how different remedies are Clinically helpful, we have understood. Later, we came with the understanding of Anacardesi family with case, the case of arthritis. So, so we have studied Anacardesi family. Those who have missed the previous sessions previous sessions of this webinar series, they can go and listen again in this YouTube link. The YouTube link is this one. The channel, YouTube channel is Swara Homeo Gurkul Academy. You go to Swara Homeo Gurkul Academy and you go to playlist. In that playlist, there is a name RBS College. In that, the previous lecture, previous uh, sessions are present. You can watch from there also. So thank you to each and everyone for giving me this opportunity and patiently hearing my topic. Thank you. If anyone is having doubts regarding this topic, you can ask, ask me. Euphorbiaceae family. So in Euphorbiaceae family, is a, there is a hide bond. Bond and unborn feeling is there. Like how we see in cruciferous restricted and the restricted and obstructed feeling, how, how we see cruciferous and want to flow. Like what we see in the anacardiaceae, there is a stuck feeling, want to move. There is a bond and unbond feeling is seen in the euphorbiaceae family. There is a polarity feeling is seen in this euphorbiaceae uh, family. There is sting like tight, tightness. There is a tight feeling around the body. The opposite is want to be free, break free, escape. This type of feelings, break free feeling will be seen in the euphorbiaceae family. Break free, band like feeling or bond like feeling are seen. Bond like feeling from all the all the sides. It's like they are in the prison. Now they want to be break free. This type of feelings are seen in euphorbiaceae family. So I hope you have understood. Thank you so much, Dr. Bhani. The session was very informative and very useful clinically. So thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.